Hey guys, this is Heretic and it is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the Dragon Stones that just came out today. The very first thing you'll notice is if you have your sound turned off, your sound effects and music and everything else, when you come in here, the dragon will still blast your speakers. So that that's a great surprise, a great addition here. All right, so they've completely redone the interface here. I do like it. It's cool. It's it's updated. It's new. All good. No problems with that at all. And we're currently doing the joyous wall, which means power's going down a little bit. So I have played around with it a little bit. I do have a few in here. You know, this is in solar. So what you see in lunar would be a lot higher than this with, with all threes and some of them um, upgraded but I'm going to go over all of that so I also have I am also going to do some offerings because I have quite a few left to do and I'm going to show you how that works so if you go to the interface in your city and you click what looks like an eyeball to me at least um, you can actually do offerings it, it depends on what you have. Um, honestly, what you do, I'm going to do the threes because that's what I have. And, and I have a lot of, of these uh, offerings to do. So I can do six in a row. So you can see what it looks like when you get them. These are the really good ones, the ones with the um, silver around them. So I got a blue and a red at the, you know, the very first try here. I'm going to go ahead and just go through all of these and then we'll round out and take a look at what they have because every one of these is different. And there's a yellow. It's the very best that you can get. The yellow will have um, all nine stats. So this is awesome. Super happy about that. Let me go again. All right. All right. And these over here, you see these broken up stones. You can use those to actually enhance your stones <laughs> all right all right cool still have a few more to go all right and i know i have just enough for the there's another silver one good one um right so now oh and i don't have enough quite enough for this one yet but i'm getting up there i'm only um 200 away i'll probably get that later can do one of these. That's not many. All right. We'll hold off on that. That's kind of boring to see. So now let's go ahead and look at my, here I'll grab these as well. Ooh, and I can do another 20. Can grab that. That's great. All right. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to do another 20 here. All right, cool. All right, oh, getting so close. Look, I'm 80 away. That's, I don't think this is going to get me there. All right, it's kind of, kind of funny the way it does that, but okay. All right, ah, oh, so close, so close. 60 away. I can probably do that with the very smallest pack. All right, so let's go look at what we've got. So I'm going to close that. Go back over to the dragon. Go into Draconic. And within here, I can swap out any of these. So if I click, for instance, this red, I could grab another red here and you can look at so what this stone has is um it has infantry all three oh no i'm sorry here you have to click it the um infantry attack and health no infantry defense um but it does have a 35.5 bowman attack so let's look at what these guys have so let's take a look at this one this one is everything because it ha it's the up 
like the the nicer one um and it i mean literally it's better in everything and it has infantry defense which would be great so i'm going to go ahead and replace that that's awesome and let's take a look at the green now this green has and these all come in randomly so whenever you get one of these stones every one of them is a little bit different okay so this one has infantry defense 35.3 and bowman attack 27 so let's see what these have this one has 38 bowman and 35.4 infantry defense i will take it all better all better across the board all right and let's look at this red this red has well what i really care about is infantry defense which is 29 which is kind of low and bowman attack 30 which is kind of low and i've upgraded it twice so let's see if i swap this one out with this guy what does he have the only thing that he has less than this one is the Bowman Health, which this one's kind of crazy at 39. I'm going to go ahead and take this one as an upgrade. All right, so now this is all looking good. I have this one over here, and that one has a 32 Bowman Attack and a 33 Infantry Defense. Do any of these other ones have better? Let's see. Um, better attack, worse, and it has no infantry defense, so I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so this one has infantry defense 33.8 and bowman attack 32.9, which is good, really. Um, and let's see what we've got over here. Do we have anything that's better? I like the fact that this one has infantry health, but it doesn't have Bowman attack. Nope. No infantry defense on that one. No infantry defense on that one. Lower infantry defense. No attack. Bow attack. Lower infantry defense. No bow attack. Lower bow, bow attack. It does have infantry health, which is nice. Uh, nah, I'm not going to change out for any of those. What about these guys? <clears throat> not any... No. Let's see. Infantry attack. Yeah, this one has a little bit... is is better than <clears throat> the other ones, but... Does that get me where I need to be? I know I'm going to swap out this blue one. I'm going to swap it out for the um, this gold that I have. Because look at this gold. The gold is 39% of everything, which is the top that I have in any of these categories. So this will be a big upgrade here. Right now, if this green was... The green is great. So right now I'm at 90, 20, 40. That gives me all but the training speed upgrade, which needs, requires 30 blue. Oops. Go back. So these are the kind of trade-offs you have to make as you go. So if I swap this out for this blue, overall it's a lot better. Does this still keep me with all of the skills? Let's see what we've got. Yes, now I'll have every single skill. Um, all right. And so the way that this works is you have all these skills that are based on the total points you have from these different types of stones. 
So your goal is, like in PvP, you definitely want to have these maxed out. And these are amazing skills. And you'll see them. Um, they're they're time-based. They're use-based. Um, whenever you're setting up your, your march to go out, you I mean, I'm sorry, when you're using your skills down here, your talents, let me say it the right, ah, the skills, that's right. You can actually pick these guys and use them, right? And then they have a cooldown on them. The same goes for your um, your PVE type skills. You can use them and they have a, a cooldown. They'll get used up, but it's this is great, right? Um, same thing goes training speed. You can boost that up. And so when you look in here, this is really cool what they did is if you look in Draconic here, you go over here to the skills, what you want to do is you want to have separate sets. So you could have another full set, right? And so in this set, you could load you could load this up with your blues. So you could say, you know, give me a blue here, another blue. And this is kind of like your um your equipment swapping. So if your goal is to max out your dragon skills, and I'll look over here, you know, I'm not maxed out yet. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. So this one requires some red. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chunk in a watch this. I'm gonna drop in the yellow there because it has points in all three: fire, water, and air. So I'm gonna drop that in, and that should give me, yeah, maxed out blue skills. Oh no, look, still I need a 80 on this one, and I currently have 70. So I still have one more. Still not gonna embed. And that'll give me max out on here. So this could be my, like, what I'm going to use whenever we're doing um, barbs so that I can get these chests. Um, and so, you know, I can use it for whenever I'm going to do training. Goodness. So it'll tell you, yep, get 10% um, training speed with that. And, you know, 10% research speed. I'm going to guess 10% construction speed. Yeah, that's what that is. And um, an instant construction speed up when I'm doing small buildings. So that that's great. So that's what I could use for my kind of construction research and barbs. And then if you want to go to your third, you can set up your, you know, this is going to be the one that I want to do green. So I want to put this guy in there <clears throat> to drop this one in there. Just one in there. This one in there. There we go. There we go. That should give us everything that we need. And so this is going to be my economy set. So this is going to be whenever I'm um, gathering resources. This is what I would want to use. And so this would give me also on the barbs uh, here. So maybe I got that wrong. So when do you get the chest over here? Hmm. Interesting. So you would just get chest immediately if you use that one. But this one is, if you're doing barbs, you get, you know, level three chest, 25% chance. Um, you get, oh wow, nice, construction food cost. Nice, love it. So what you would probably want to do, depending on what you're, you're trying to do, you can set up a set to to get you what you want. So that's cool. This is a gathering, 10% gathering speed. <clears throat> so this this is great. So you'll want to use 
Let me go back over here. You'll want to use these setups so that you can you get done what you're what you're trying to do. So you could set up your depending on what you want to do, you can use stones to, to get you where you want to go. So that is amazing. <clears throat> so the next thing you can do is you can actually upgrade them. So you can click this little anvil. And over here, this is going to use the the stones that you got before. You can just one tap add to upgrade it. So this will get me almost to level four. And you can see, look, that's a huge change. That's almost 20% upgrade. I'm going to do it. Yeah, just do it. <clears throat> All right. So that's amazing. Um, another thing that you can do is you can blow up some of these to get more of the material to upgrade with. That's interesting. Um, okay, so you click the dismantle and it'll tell you how many of each kind you have that are not being used, which is strange because I know I have that level two. Did I drop the level two in one of these? I don't think I did, did I? Not there. Not there. Oh, because it's got a lock on it. Why do they have locks? Okay, you can unlock them. Oh, that's cool. So you don't break them. That's really cool. So you can set up a lock on these so they don't get broken by mistake. That is the first time I've seen that in KOA. <clears throat> when I first started the game, I had built, I don't even remember, one of the very first sets of armor um, that came out. And I was really proud because I'd saved up quite a bit um, to get it, <clears throat> like farming um, barbarians and everything. And I built my set and then... I was just kind of playing around and I accidentally misclicked and it like it clicked to de to destroy to break apart so I broke it and I in at that time you couldn't get the materials back so I basically had to start from scratch to get that piece again and it was it sucked <laughs> All right so so now I can select this guy and it's going to break it this is the materials it'll give me for dismantling it So again, now I could go to over here. This is my PVP set. And I can pick another item, another one of these. And if I have enough, nope, that's going to take 840. So I have 250 now. <clears throat> and you get those. You get the materials for actually um, for upgrading these. You can get these straight off of Barbarians. So especially if you have that chest you'll get uh, stones that you can either break apart or you'll get the actual materials to to build, to upgrade. So as you can see, this is solar. Um, the same thing goes in lunar, just the stats are higher <laughs> and it's, it's expensive. So yeah, so um, you can see for what we've got over here um, in solar, this 239 you know plus on my infantry defense is huge i mean this is amazing 239 this has me going from you know 1800 this is you know over 20 percent um increase on stats for for most people for everybody the top stats right now before this were around 2100 2200 i mean that's uh, uh, over over 10 percent let's say um stat increase so that's that's amazing um for relatively little <laughs> so you know if you do have any questions about this and how it works let me know um if you found out something that maybe i don't know and you know, and and real quick before we go, and can go through these skills. So you know, this skill will increase my um, stats 
check that out. So that's amazing. You know, twenty percent increase of all my stats, pretty much, except my troop. Um, it's weird. You have to click out, and come back. Maybe there's a better way. This one, and and I've seen this in another video out there from someone in beta. This one's amazing. I mean, this is deals damage worth 20 times your number of troops. So if you have two, and for us, it's 2 million troops. So that is a ton of damage, no matter what their defense is. And so this is kind of the anti um, crit defense right here. So it's, it's giving great amount of damage there. This guy right here, if your total element is greater than or equal to the enemy's total element, troop damage is plus 5%. And damage received is negative 5 So these are the lower stats, right? These are the stats, you know, they're called lower stats, but they're actually more important. You know, damage and damage received reductions are, uh, you know, more a lot more important than like your troop attack. Right, the damage is is amazing. So what this means is, whenever I go out and I attack someone, if my total, so I have uh, 160, if that 160 is above the total of the person that I'm attacking, then um, you know I get this bonus added to the attack. How cool is that? So having these yellows, right, because they give 20 to each. 60 total, none of these give 60 total, 20, 20, see what I mean? You want, this is awesome, this is 60 points right there. So, you know, if someone has a, you know, all yellows across here, and believe me, even in solar, someone probably already does, right? There are people out there that are, would just go completely crazy to fill this up, especially when they find out what it can do. Um, to completely blow away people. So, you know, that, that's great. Love that. Um, and we did look at the economy and the development already. So on the PvP side, you can see you get all your stats up here, your middle stats. You get your lower stats up here. And this one right here just blows people away. So this is going to be, this is going to completely change PvP strategy completely change it there's going to be a lot of things like do i use this now it's kind of like your life preserver when do you use it I always use it at the wrong time i use it when there's an incoming rally mega rally on avalon for example and then they cancel the rally you know and then there's no attacks for 30 minutes and then they come back after that and you know whatever um that's happened several times um, it'll be the same type of thing. You're going to need to um, know when you can use these because they have cooldowns. Although I don't see one on there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is fun. All right. These are all activated. And I'm sorry, the cooldowns you can see over here on your skills so you can see this the cooldown is 30 minutes on that but it eats up mana and it lasts for 30 minutes this one lasts for 20 minutes and it eats up 400 mana um, and you gather the the mana it looks like automatically um, the weird thing that oh no so I have this. What, where's the, the other one must be always on because there was a, the third PvP one. It must always be on the uh, the lower stat bonus. Um, right. All right. So these are cool. Um, Let's take a look at one other thing that I really haven't even looked at. And it's this um, stone stash. So <laughs> this is where we were. So that it takes you 
directly to that. Okay. So I, I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, what I've heard and I'm going to pass along is that for PVP, you should go four red, one blue, and one green to try to get all of the draconic skills. Um, the different levels of these um, stones, um, you know, it goes from one normal, it goes from, from the white one, the white two, the white three, then, you know, the color um, one, then and then on all of them, they have these little upgrades that have the silver around them. And, um, and they go from one to three. And as you could probably guess, depending on the, um, the number, the level, the better the stats are, um, they're all random, right? So as you saw, like it, they, they're, they have ranges on, oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. They all have ranges between, you know, depending on, on what you're, you're getting. And you can actually see all of that, um, here on the offerings. I'll give you the pool preview. So it'll kind of show you the way through and depending on where you're doing your offerings. So I could go here. I have 127 of these. I could build out some of these and make gives me some more material to upgrade. Okay, so I have a one, you know, and let's see, and these are because they have the little, there's a little upgraded kind. Um, they give you every stat. And so the regular ones who don't have the little silver around them only give you six stats. And if you have the little silver around them, you get all the nine stats. Um, but on every single one of them, there's a range that they can have. And I'll show you that range after this <laughs> okay all right on the pool preview you can see like on each one of these it'll give you the range between 8 and 13 percent so like, they can fall in there yeah and on like on the twos if you look at the pool preview um you can see it's between 13 and 20 and the little upgraded ones will give you 20 to 22. Right, and looking at the threes, 15 to 19, 23 to 36, and 35 to 39. And they, they do show the yellows here. And the yellows will always be 39% everything. So the yellow is the way to go. <laughs> All right. So that's, you know, what we've got. This is a cool update. Not too bad, especially compared to um, armor upgrades and all of those things, which are crazy expensive. That's why I haven't really done much of it. Um, this isn't too bad at all. Um, if you do have any questions, you know, if, if, you know, there's anything you need to know, anything you want to know, let me know if there's anything else as far as, um, solar or, um, lunar, either, either side, any of the events, any of the items, um, let me know. Um, and I'll be happy to do a video about them. All right. Take care.